It's our first time ever to be here at the Vatican in Rome. It's a beautiful thing. Our last day in Europe and we got to see the Pope. Yeah. I cried. <laughs> it was some um, emotional feeling. I did cry. I'm not joking about it. I believe myself that I made it here. Even though I didn't understand a lot of the words, there's some English, some French, Spanish. Uh, I thought I heard uh, German too. But just the thought of being here is so amazing. We're here so early in the morning at 6.30 a.m. And there's no line yet, but we're gonna be here to uh, attend the what they call a uh, papal audience. We already have our tickets. It's free, but you gotta get your tickets ahead of time if you wanna do this. And we got our tickets yesterday. And this happens every Wednesday. I'm just not sure what time it'll start, but we were told to be here by 6.30 to avoid the lines. Oh, but we already have our tickets, so here's the view. Yeah, look, it's not a lot of people here. A great time to come here. We came from over there. Our taxi, our cab dropped us off over there somewhere. And it only costed because there was no traffic. It was only nine euros. So the cab to get here from our hotel, which is near Trevi Fountain, is usually around $9 to $12 depending on the traffic. So there are already some people here and I think that's probably where we're gonna be starting to fall in line, get to security so we can go in and um, enter the that area right there where they have seats and uh, attend the papal audience which again happens only every Wednesday. And then Sundays uh, they said that the Pope comes out too on Sundays if he's here in Rome. It's a beautiful morning. It's right now, it's like um, around maybe 44 to 47 degrees when we left, it was 44. It's still a little chilly, but you don't have to wear, I didn't have to wear um, a big sweater. We, we have vests that we... Uh, packed with us and Rob's wearing a vest and I'm wearing a vest as well and it's enough to keep me warm because the sun is now out and we're gonna be falling in line soon an area there that's covered so that's probably where the Pope is gonna come from right there that area that 
that's the middle stage, the middle of the stage. And over here, those people are gonna get married today. And that group who are gonna get married today, they also stayed in the same line with us. They also waited in that long queue where we were. And then once they got here, they went up there. <coughs> and then we saw some people who were trying to find their line for the meet and greet. So it was a little confusing because nobody knows where the right line is, especially those who, uh, who paid premium for the meet and greet. But I think we, everybody has to fall in line, in the same line, and then once they get inside, they can just go up there. If that There's still a lot of seats behind us or right by us. So that crowd right there are the people who are gonna get married. And I noticed that they also fell in line with us. They also waited in a long queue with everybody. to sit on the aisle. why people want to sit on the aisle because they know where the Pope is going to be. <laughs> <laughs>
longer in there. Santo Padre dà ora inizio all'udienza generale, introducendola con il segno della croce e il saluto liturgico. Disponiamoci ad accogliere la sua parola e a ricevere la sua benedizione. Nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Amen. La pace sia con voi. Dal libro dei proverbi Un cuore intelligente desidera imparare La bocca dello storto si pasce nella sua ignoranza Are reading from the book of Proverbs The mind of one who has understanding seeks knowledge But the mouths of fools feed on folly Folly is a joy to one who has no sense, but a person of understanding walks straight ahead. Without counsel, plans go wrong, but with many advisors, they succeed. The fear of the Lord is instruction in wisdom, and humility goes before him. The word of the Lord. Cari fratelli e sorelle, buongiorno. Adesso sentiremo la catechesi di oggi, sempre sulla linea dei vizi e virtù. Io ho chiesto a mio signore di leggerla, io ancora non posso. Grazie. Tanti passi del Vangelo ci aiutano a educare la prudenza. Ad esempio, è prudente chi costruisce la sua casa sulla roccia e il prudente chi la costruisce sulla sabbia. Sagge sono le damicelle che portano con sé l'olio per le loro lampade e stolte quelle che non lo fanno. La vita cristiana è un connubio di semplicità e di scaltrezza. Preparando i suoi discepoli per la missione, Gesù raccomanda, ecco, io vi mando come pecore in mezzo a lupi. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Mother's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the virtues, we now consider prudence, one of the four cardinal virtues that, together with the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity, are the pillars of integrated Christian living. Prudence is the ability to combine intelligence and creativity, simplicity and shrewdness, understanding the complexity of situations and evaluating possible solutions, applying wisdom gleaned from past experiences while anticipating future needs. 
In this sense, St. Thomas Aquinas calls prudence, right reason, and action. Jesus, in his parables, often encouraged his disciples to exercise this virtue. May we also practice prudence daily on the journey towards the fullness of life in the heavenly kingdom. The Holy Father will now greet us in Italian. Buon benvenuto a tutti i pellegrini di lingua inglese, specialmente ai lunghi provenienti da Inghilterra, Paesi Bassi, Danimarca, Isole Paue, Giappone, Corea e Stati Uniti d'America. A tutti ci auguro che il cammino quaresimale porti alla gioia di Pasqua con cuori purificati e rinnovati dalla grazia dello Spirito Santo. Su voi, sulle vostre famiglie, Invoco la gioia e la pace di Cristo. I greet all the English speaking pilgrims and visitors taking part in today's audience, especially those coming from England, the Netherlands, Denmark, the Faroe Islands, Japan, Korea, and the United States of America. May the Lenten journey bring us to Easter with hearts purified and renewed by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Upon you and your families, I invoke the joy and peace of Christ. Heiliger Vater, die Gläubigen Gottes Vater möchten wir Ihnen die herzliche Zuneigung und aufrichtige Verbundenheit verkünden und versichern Sie zugleich Ihres Gebiets in allen Anliegen Ihres universalen apostolischen Dienstes. Cari fratelli e sorelle, la testimonianza del vostro celeste protettore, di cui sarò lieto di vedere l'immagine, suscita in ciascuno il desiderio di aderire sempre più generosamente a Cristo e al Vangelo. Saluto altresì la parrocchia di San Pietro in Grignano di Carta. Coristi di Boves e gli alunni dell'Istituto Comprensivo di Scuola. Il mio pensiero va infine ai giovani, ai malati, agli anziani, agli sposi novelli. Abbiamo celebrato ieri la solennità di San Giuseppe, patrono della Chiesa Universale. Vorrei insieme a voi affidare al suo patrocinio la Chiesa e il mondo intero. Soprattutto tutti i papà che in lui hanno un modello singolare di imitare. E a San Giuseppe raccomandiamo anche le popolazioni della martoriata Ucraina e della Terra Santa, la Palestina, Israele, che tanto soffrono l'orrore della guerra. E non dimentichiamo mai, la, la, la guerra sempre è una sconfitta non si può andare avanti in guerra dobbiamo fare tutti gli sforzi per trattare per negoziare per finire la guerra preghiamo per questo a tutti la mia benedizione
Espíritu Santo. Amén. You're not in front. If if you're one of these, um, if you're in one of these aisles, this is where it's good to be, because this is where the Pope passes by. One of these aisles. It's a lot of people here. It's like it's Christmas or something. It's our first time ever to be here at the Vatican in Rome. It's a beautiful thing. Our last day in Europe and we got to see the Pope. Yeah. I cried. <laughs> it was um, emotional. Feeling. I did cry. I'm not joking about it. I believe myself that I made it here. Even though I didn't understand a lot of the words, there's some English, some French, Spanish. I, I thought I heard uh, German too. But just the thought of being here is so amazing. And I was emotional for a minute. When I stopped taking the video, that's when I started just realizing, wow, it's there's a lot of people and it's a wonderful feeling to see the Pope. Um, he's not God himself, but he represents what the Lord would like for us to be and would like for us to do. And I felt it. It's such a huge blessing just, just to be here. And to see a lot of people in here. I know that a lot of them are tourists and probably a lot of them are not Catholics. Or maybe non-denominate. I have um, non-denominational faith, but in here you feel like people are one. People are as one. That's how I felt. And uh, everybody's in unity, and everybody's here to feel that blessing, the blessing that I felt as well. So. I'll do this again next time we're here and um, I'll make sure I'll be sitting either right in front. We were here early in the morning, 6.30 a.m. and we were on row 6 right in front of the altar right there. But I wish that we knew what to do. Um, we didn't go for the front because we didn't know what's happening. But I wish that we we took, I wish that we took one of those aisle seats where the Pope was passing by 
and it's not we were on an aisle seat in the middle but that's not where the Pope went through so it's those areas with the gray uh, curtains in it right there where people are standing those people were lucky because they saw the Pope up close but I'm happy with some of the videos that I took very nice experience yeah you're ready to go home now that you've seen the Pope Kevin you're ready to go home now that you've seen, you've seen the Pope huh you're not ready to go home yet huh such a great feeling all right let me shut this off and we're gonna go eat something we haven't had breakfast yet so we're all hungry we brought snacks while waiting in line um, it's now almost 10 a.m. we were here from 6 30 and we want to eat something now so yeah that's right yeah it's worth sacrificing the breakfast such an awesome feeling just to be here seeing the Pope and hearing him talk and giving us blessing but they're still here um, I'm not sure if the Pope is still up there there are some people there who are dressed up like they're getting married but I think they already they already had a wedding but maybe just getting the blessings and there's some meet and greet somewhere there too so what a great experience and we'll do it again till next time.